This is the Brompton Saddle Height insert in its retail packaging. So how it will be delivered to you if you order it online. This is the Brompton Saddle Height insert as it will arrive with your Brompton bicycle if you purchase it in a shop or if you order it online for delivery to your home. We're going to show you what it's for and how to install it. For this, I need a Brompton. You know the problem. Every time you unfold your bicycle and you're ready to ride off, your seat's at the wrong height. So today we're going to show you how to put a seat post insert into your Brompton to prevent you having this problem so that your seat is always at the perfect height. The first step of this is to determine what the perfect height is. This is best done by taking it for a long ride rather than just leaning against the wall. You need to be in the shoes that you regularly ride in. For me, it's these nice 510s. I have them in different colours. Setting up your seat post height. When you have your pedal at the bottom of the stroke and put your heel on it, your leg should be straight, like this. This will mean when you put the ball of your foot on the pedal, you have a bend in your knee, like this. So that's the height that I want my seat post to be at. I would recommend going out for a long ride before you install the saddle height insert in place. Now I have my seat post at the right height, I'm going to mark it to help me install the saddle height insert. For this, I'll need a pen. Because I have a black seat post, I'm going to use a white glass pen. To make sure I get the saddle at the same angle when I reinstall it, I'm going to mark the pentaclip. For this, I'm going to take my light off to make it easier. To remove the seat post, you first need to remove the saddle. To do this, I need a 5mm Allen key to undo the pentaclip, or this bolt here. I'm marking the pentaclip so that I can get it at the same angle when I reinstall the saddle. I'm not going to move it on the rails, but I will undo the pentaclip to take it off the seat post. You don't need to undo the pentaclip too much because you don't want it to fall apart. You just need to remove it enough that you can take the saddle off of the seat post. Because I find it easier to take the seat post out when the bike is in a stand, I'm going to pop it into a stand. I'm going to mark the saddle height insert at the correct place where I need to trim it. I'm going to extend the seat post so it's fully extended and then clamp it in place. I'm going to hold the seat post insert against the seat post with the key pointing down so that it's not interfering with the frame. I'm going to mark the saddle height insert at the ridge that matches closest to the mark that I put on my seat post. Using a pair of scissors, I'll cut the saddle height insert across this groove. Now I need a pair of scissors. Carefully, I'm going to cut across this groove using a sharpish pair of scissors.
it's easiest, or I find it easiest, to try and straighten the seat post insert as you're cutting. This is the bit that you now need to insert into your frame. This is recycling. Now you need to remove your seat post. You just need to unclamp it and gently drop it down through the bicycle. Try not to drop it. They don't really like that. Before I put the saddle height insert into the frame, I'm going to give it a good clean. I'm just using some brake cleaner and then I'll wipe it so that there's no dirt on the inside. Nice and dirty. When I'm happy that it's clean, I'm going to put the saddle height insert into the frame. The keyed bit sits in this part of the frame to stop it going down inside the Brompton. To be honest, I have had it fall out the bottom quite a few times. To make it easier to fit, if you just bend it back a little bit, it will grab the frame easier. I'm just going to squeeze the saddle hit and set together so that I fit it into the frame. I'm then going to push it gently down the inside of the bicycle so that the keyed part sits in place. You can see the keyed bit protruding from the frame. This saddle height insert will stop our seat post at the right height that we've just measured. Before reinstalling my seat post, I'm going to give it a clean. One, to make sure it's clean, and two, to get off the mark. This is where the magic happens. The seat post just pushes in from the bottom of the frame, past the seat post insert, and stops it at the right height. I seem to be missing something. Now all that's left is to reinstall the saddle. You simply put the pentaclip back on the seat post. Adjust the orientation so that the pentaclip lines up with the mark that I've put on it. This should be done up using a 5mm torque wrench, but that's in the workshop and I don't feel that that's an essential journey to make. It should be done up to 15 newton metres, so relatively tight. I am going to clean off the mark on my pentaclip because I don't like permanent marker on my lovely shiny pentagon. Now I have my saddle height insert installed. Every time I raise my saddle, it will be at the perfect height for me in these shoes. Every time I raise my saddle, it will now be at the perfect height for me in these shoes. We wouldn't recommend a saddle height insert is used if you regularly share a bicycle or change shoes because you want to adjust the height of the saddle. You can however make it lower, just not higher. Now I'm going to get out and ride. It's not an essential journey so I don't think I can today. Maybe I'll go out tomorrow. If you like this video please give us a big thumbs up. If you like my fringe trim that I've done myself because we're in self-isolation, please let us know. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Have you missed anything? Please comment in the comment section. This is the Brompton seat post insert. No, it's not, it's a saddle height insert. This is the Brompton saddle height insert. When you... We're going to show you why you want...
seat post insert is going to go in here. As another game, you could play whack a saddle height insert. Saddle height insert. This is where the magic happens. The seat post goes in from the bottom of the frame. This is where the magic happens. If you like this video, that we made five times, with a little bit of interruptions from random noises, please let us know.